Okay, upvoting and downvoting. Um, this is basically like liking and disliking something on Facebook, really. Um, if I click into this post, looks like quite a good one from John. Um, you'll see these couple of icons at the top here. You've got a thumbs up and a thumbs down. Obviously, thumbs up is an upvote and thumbs down is a downvote. So you can, if you see posts that you like or you, you know don't approve of as, uh, on your travels around the forum, then you can basically like or dislike them. I'll upvote that post for John. So you've got two, two upvotes on it now. And um, w what that does is uh, over time, each person on the forum will build up uh, reputation. So if I go over to the points page, I'm going to try and display this on the front page at some point. Um, this is a bit like a ranking system uh, that shows uh, who's got the most points in order. Um, I'm at the top there probably because I've done so much testing on the forum and done a load of upvoting of myself. So a bit of an unfair advantage for me there. I might try and reset my points, but um, yeah, you get the idea anyway. It's, it's like a leaderboard really. Um, it shows you how many points each people, each person's got, their progress, their, their kind of level. It's, it's set up as levels. Um, this, this Jeff's on level one there, a couple of people on level four at the top because they've had a bit more activity on the forum. Um, yeah, that, that's it really. As I say, over time, your reputation will build up and, and we'll start to get a feel for who the uh, the top posters are. And there's there's all sorts of things around uh, awards that we can allocate for um, the top posters and the, the, the most helpful people on the forum. So we'll, we'll expand on that a bit more uh, in a bit more detail in a different post. But uh, yeah, that, that, that's the purpose of the upvote and downvote. It's just like and dislike posts as you go and um, yeah, we'll see what happens from it.